So the truth is, of all the modifications I have done to my Jeep over the years, this one I'm just not too sure of, but I'm willing to give it a try. <music> Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today on this episode, we are taking a look at BD Diesel Performance Throttle Sensitivity Booster for the Jeep JK, and then we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna see how different the throttle response is. I'm really excited to try to check this out. You know, I have been a muscle car guy for many years, and stepping on the gas and having that good response is something I've really enjoyed. And while my Jeep is not a performance vehicle by any means, I don't expect it to be super fast like a muscle car, but man, just to be able to step on the throttle and have a little more responsiveness would be really nice. But before we get into the specifics about this, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Northridge 4x4. You know, they are a great online resource for your Jeep aftermarket parts. They've got great customer service. They've got very fast shipping. And at the end of this video, guys, I will leave a link in the description for this booster here. Head over there and check it out if you think this is something you want to install on your Jeep. All right, now. Let's talk a little bit about what this is and really what this is not. Now this is a throttle sensitivity booster and that means the only thing it's gonna do is adjust the sensitivity. So when we press on the gas, we're gonna get responsiveness much sooner than we do now. You know, right now you press on the gas and it's about a quarter way down and then you kind of start to feel it go. This should change that a little bit. What this is not is it is not a replacement for regearing. You know, I've still got 410 gears on my Jeep and I plan to go to 513s here, hopefully very soon. This is just about adjusting the throttle sensitivity. Now, this is also not a tuner. This is not going to increase horsepower. This is not going to modify our air, fuel, or timing. None of that. This is strictly about, again, throttle sensitivity, guys. So let's talk a little bit about what we've got here. This is the little module. Now we do have to pull the module apart in order to adjust the settings and to make sure it's working correctly. And really what you need to do is just throw a screwdriver in here and pop this out. It's very simple and straightforward. And then this pulls apart. And then on the inside of the circuit board, there's a couple LEDs in there. One is for power, status, and level. Then there's a little button for learning the pedal, which is how we're gonna teach it to learn how to use this. And then there are the different settings for stock, low, and the high settings. So you can have it off, you can have a 50% responsiveness or 100%. And they do offer an external switch which allows you to adjust this outside of the vehicle because once we close this up to get to it, we're gonna have to pull this all apart. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is probably just set this at 100 and just leave it and we'll see how it goes. And then we've got the wire loom and this is pretty straightforward. The gray part here is gonna attach directly to the throttle sensitivity module. And then the Y side here is where the current cable that's going directly to our gas pedal is going to get plugged into here and then this will get plugged into the gas pedal and that's how the connection is made. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward. Now when we get in there, there's a couple things that we need to do but I'll show you when we get inside the Jeep. So uh, let's hop in there and I'll show you what we got. Now the kit does not come with instructions. You have to go over to their website and print them out, but they're actually really nice and in color and got some nice detail on here. But the number one thing that we have to do before we get started, and I'm just gonna read this to you, to avoid setting possible fault codes, disconnect vehicle battery before proceeding. Uh, we're gonna do that. I hope we don't get any fault codes. Now here's where things get a little tricky because myself, this wire loom, and that camera are not all fitting under the dash while I do this. So there is a plug that goes directly onto the module of the gas pedal. We've gotta pull that plug off and then plug in that plug to this wire loom and then plug this into where the factory one went. So let me crawl under there, do it, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, if you follow the gas pedal all the way up, you'll see the module up here and the connector at the top, that's the new one I've already connected. Okay, I pulled the front of the dash off just so I could kind of show you a little bit, but this is the factory harness plugged into the wire loom and then it goes up underneath there and then the wire loom's gonna come out here where we'll plug in the module. One key thing to remember is to make sure you zip tie all of this out of the way of the gas pedal. All right, with the battery connected, now we're gonna turn the ignition on. 
And we should see the status light start to flash, which it is, that's perfect. All right, now that the status light is flashing, we're gonna press the learn pedal button and that should light up both the status and the level. And then what we wanna do is press the gas pedal all the way up and down, just cycle it through. It says for about 15 seconds. It says make sure there's nothing that's impeding it. And then when it's done, that level light should stop flashing. Oh, and there we go. And so we're back to that. And we can turn the ignition off. And with the ignition off, this has learned. So now we can go ahead and set this and I'm gonna set it to high, button this all up and then we can take it for a drive. All right, I'm gonna start her up for the first time and see how it goes. Uh, no fault codes, that's good news. Let's give it a little gas. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. That is definitely, definitely more sensitive. Let's go hit the road. All right guys, here we go. Excited to test this out, see how it is. Oh, uh, you know, that's the bummer of having to disconnect your battery for this. I gotta reset the clock again. It's back out of the driveway here. And then I'm just gonna take it nice and easy down this road and then we will uh, we'll head up on to the freeway and see how much of a difference that makes. Okay, so initial response, just, I mean, I'm not even doing 20 miles an hour. Uh, I guess I can feel it a little bit. It's not significant, but I'm barely just tapping the gas pedal right now. Uh, I'm sure once we start to open it up a little bit, that'll make a difference. All right, so I've been driving around for a little over a half hour now, and just kind of putting it through its paces. You know, I was on some back roads, and then I actually went out and got on the freeway a little bit. And let me just say, I am surprisingly impressed. Uh, I actually really like it a little more than I thought it was going to. Uh, you know, going from a dead stop at a stoplight and stepping on the gas, those RPMs come up much faster than they did before. It's very nice, very responsive. Going on the freeway, I definitely noticed a significant difference, but one thing I did notice is when I was going on an incline, and it downshifted, it actually downshifted twice pretty rapidly and I was in the 5,000 RPM range. That was my uh, gas light going on, let me know I'm running out of gas, which by the way, this probably isn't gonna help my gas mileage at all. Uh, but I, on the freeway, it was very responsive, especially when I was passing somebody, I like that a lot. Now again, this is no substitute for re-gearing, I will be re-gearing soon, uh, but I really like this little guy. Very nice little upgrade, guys. So I have to be honest with you, my Jeep is a little more fun to drive today after doing this upgrade. I did not expect to enjoy it quite as much as I have. I really like the responsiveness now when I step on that gas pedal. And what an easy install. I mean, it was super easy to put in and the price for one of these is not off the charts. You know, it's really reasonable. For what you get, I think it's definitely worth it. And again, I link down below guys, go check it out if this is something you want. Now I did set it at the half setting for a little while just to kind of test it out and I was kind of underwhelmed. I mean, it was definitely noticeable, but I think having it at the full setting is exactly where I wanted. I like stepping on that gas and getting off the line a little bit quicker. So very, very nice upgrade. Hey, look, uh, just so you guys know, uh, there are several upgrades coming. I'm gonna be doing brakes, I'm gonna be doing drive shaft, and we're gonna be doing shocks on the Jeep here all in the very near future. So a lot more upgrades to come. And then we've got some big trips we're taking so look, if you are visiting Trail Recon for the first time, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. You don't wanna miss any of those future videos. Plus, I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching, guys.